For Yemen, the Arab Spring added a new layer of complexity to the country's long-running troubles. Youth-led street protests were met with repression, and then military clashes erupted between supporters and opponents of the long-standing president, Ali Abdullah Saleh. However, a political agreement, which the United Nations helped to mediate, might allow Yemen to begin moving towards greater stability and peace. It's not an agreement that will solve all of Yemen's problems in one go. The good news about the transition and this plan is that it provides the framework, the processes, um, the institutions that could lead to uh, Yemenis addressing together in a spirit of dialogue and consensus all these different conflicts that are taking. The Accord offers a detailed roadmap for transition that includes the transfer of key powers of state to Yemen's vice president, followed by elections. The opportunity to forge a transition agreement came after the UN Security Council adopted a resolution last October. The Security Council speaking with one voice on Yemen, um, voting resolution by consensus, and then making it clear in Yemen and elsewhere to the government, to the opposition, that the Security Council is united in calling for an end to the violence, calling for a um, peaceful resolution of this conflict, and um, in support of the good offices of the Secretary General, and I think this made a huge difference. With support from the Department of Political Affairs, Ben Omar traveled to Yemen repeatedly throughout 2011, engaging in dialogue with a broad cross-section of actors. My team worked um, for several months on all the potential scenarios, the potential options, um, the what would be the ideal structure of a, a transition. Um, we identified already all the contentious issues, tried to come up with answers, and um, uh, we're not starting from scratch. By early 2012, a number of important steps had been taken. An interim power-sharing government had been sworn in and elections were scheduled for February. The UN deployed an electoral team to provide technical support for the elections. Meanwhile, the situation in Yemen remains highly fragile. Against this background, Ben Amar has called on the international community to strengthen its level of assistance. So there is a, a UN system process um, aimed at um, upscaling UN response and focusing UN assistance um, to make sure that we support effectively this uh, uh, transition.